to be able to make the heavy duty truck and to upgrade the base trailer we need a small assembly station with a, a field station upgrade so we first build ourselves some foundations and a small assembly station which we then can upgrade with a field station to build the foundations we press b to open the build menu and go to the foundation tab we then select the 2x2 two two foundation a left click to place the blueprint drive up to it with our cv field with gravel and hammer in the 150 gravel with the foundations built we drive all of the foundations we press a b to open the build menu we go to the facilities tab and we select the small assembly station which will cost us 75 construction materials hold down the right mouse button to aim and rotate it the right way a left click to place it and we'll drive up to it with our cv and hammer in the 75 construction materials with the small assembly station built, we press Q to hop out of our CV and walk up to the small assembly station. We press E to open its menu and in the upgrade tab, if we hover over the field station upgrade, we can see that we need 25 processed construction materials to upgrade the small assembly station to have a field station. So I prepared two trucks here with construction materials. So we we'll grab the spear tip, we drive it up towards the small assembly station. When we are close until it says in the bottom left press e to use small assembly station we press e that will open up the menu of the small assembly station we come to the bottom left where the inventory of our truck is we click on the process construction materials and transfer them to the small assembly station inventory grab our other truck drive that towards the small assembly station when we are close enough we press e to open it up and same procedure here click on the process process construction materials to transfer them to the small assembly station inventory press q to hop out of the truck come to the small assembly station press e to open its menu and in the upgrade panel we uh, left click the field station that will start modifying the structure as soon as we are done modifying the structure we can see that the model changed and that the icon on the dock of the small assembly station changed as well if we now press E to open the menu of the small assembly station we can see we now have the field station upgrade and that gave us the option to upgrade the junk wagon or the normal trailer into a tumble box which is a trailer that can haul a large items and we can upgrade the junk wagon to a lamp loader which is the fuel variant it also allows us to make the heavy duty truck to power the production on our small assembly station with the field station upgrade, we need a two megawatts of power. So we build ourselves a, a diesel power plant behind our small assembly station. With an extra foundation build, we press a B to open the build menu again. We come to the power category, select the diesel power plant, which will cost us 150 basic materials. We make sure that our power connection is facing towards our small assembly station. We left click to place the diesel power plant drive up to the blueprint and start hammering in the basic materials with the diesel power plant built we drive our cv to the side we press a q to hop out we come to the diesel power plant press e to open it up and we click on the button in the production panel so that our diesel power station is turned off that way if we start refueling our diesel power station it doesn't start to consume our diesel right away and only when we want to we open our cv grab ourselves 25 basic materials equip our hammer by pressing a one press b to open our build menu select the power pole put it in between the uh, small assembly station and the diesel power plant left click to place the blueprint right mouse button to hammer in the basic materials with the power ball build, we press B to open the build menu and select the power line. We connect the power line from our small assembly station to the power pole by left clicking. And we do that again from the power pole to the diesel power station. We then press E to open the power pole. And if we want to reserve these buildings for our active squad, we can do that by pressing reserve multiple. And this will prevent others from modifying or upgrading our structures or changing the power state, which means that people that are not in my squad cannot turn on the diesel power plant if I don't want to. So if we do that, if we select our current squad, we can press OK and we can see that that reserved three structures. 
that is the diesel power plant, the power pole, and the small assembly station. With a fuel truck full of diesel, we come to our diesel power plant. We press E to open it up and we can come to the status panel. We can simply click the refuel button and we can see that that will start refueling from the nearest stolen tanker. To make the base trailer, which we can upgrade to the large item trailer or the fuel trailer, we need to come to a garage. So if we press M to open the map and we look for the truck icon on the map, that is the garage. We can press E to open up its menu. And in the production panel, we can see that the uh, last option is the rooster junk wagon, which is the base trailer. And if we want to build one that we need 10 refined materials. I have 10 refined materials in my backpack, so I can simply uh, left click on the icon of the base trailer that will put the blueprint of it on the floor of the garage and then walk up to the trailer, hold down the left mouse button and hammer in the refined materials. When we are done building the trailer, we can pick it up, for instance, with a normal truck. So if we come to our base truck over here and we back it up, if we turn our camera a bit by holding down the middle mouse button and we make sure that our hook and our trailer are very close to each other we hop out of our truck come to the space between the truck and the trailer press shift e and in the interaction drop down we select hitch trailer that will hitch the trailer to our base truck when we come to our trailer in the back we can see in the bottom left that we can press e to open its inventory when we do that we can see that the junk wagon has a seven inventory slots these inventory slots will only take a raw material so that is a salvage components sulfur copper iron aluminium and rare metals in the inventory panel, we see the uh, orange uh, lock icon, which means we can submit the base trailer to a personal stockpile in a storage depot or a seaport. If we want to lock the trailer, we can press L. And if we escape out, we can now see in the top right that our trailer is locked. If we come to our truck, we can see that our truck is still unlocked. So we can press L on that as well, and that will lock our truck. To put our trailer in our personal stockpile, we come close to the seaport. We press Q to hop out of our truck. We come to the space between our truck and our trailer. We press a shift E and in the interaction dropdown, we select unhitch trailer. Then we come to the back of the trailer, press E to open it up. And in the actions panel, we click package. This will package the trailer. We then come to the crane. Uh, Q to hop in, aim at the loading dock of the seaport. And when we get the connection icon, we uh, left click to drop the trailer. And as soon as the trailer uh, touches the loading dock of the seaport, it will open up the seaport itself. We make sure in the drop down that we have selected our personal stockpile, in this case, Freerk. And in the actions panel, we click submit a loading area equipment. And we can see that that action put the base trailer into our stockpile. Now to pull it out, we can simply uh, left click on the base trailer that will assemble the base trailer on the loading dock. We come out of our crane, hop into our truck and back it up towards our trailer. When the hook and the trailer almost overlap, we press Q to hop out, come to the space between the trailer and the truck, press Shift E, hitch trailer, come to the driver's seat, press Q and drive off. If we want to upgrade the base trailer to a trailer that can hold a large items or the tumble box, we come to the small assembly station with the field station upgrade. And if we hover over the tumble box, we can see that we need 10 process construction materials and five assembly materials type two. Currently, I have those materials in the inventory of my heavy duty truck. I can simply uh, right click on any of those and in the drop down, select submit all to stockpile that will put them all into the stockpile of the small assembly station. Now, if we hover over the tumble box, we can see that we need the base vehicle in order to upgrade that to the tumble box. So we can just uh, drive our heavy duty truck over the small assembly station pad and when we are close to the center of the pad with our trailer we press a q to hop out of our driver's seat we come to the small assembly station stand between our truck and our trailer press shift e and unhitch our trailer 
We then hop into our heavy duty truck and we drive it off the pad. Press Q to hop out. We come to our small assembly station. Press E to open its menu and in the field station production panel, we click the tumble box. That will put the blueprint down and just as before, because our diesel power plant is turned off, so we press E on the diesel power plant and we turn on the power. And now we can see that our small assembly station is working on our tumble box. Now that the tumble box is ready, we can see that the model changed to its ready state. We come to our heavy duty truck. We hop into the driver's seat and we back it up so that our hook is very close to the trailer. Come to the other side, press shift E and select hitch trailer. And now with the trailer hitched, we can drive off with our heavy duty truck to turn the base trailer into a, a trailer that can transport liquids. We come to the small assembly station with the field station upgrade as well. We press E to open it up. And if we go to the production panel at the field station, we can hover over the uh, lamp loader and see that that too will cost us 10 process construction materials and five assembly materials too. I brought these with my truck, so I can simply right click on those in the inventory of my truck and submit all to stockpile. We then drive our truck over the pad of the small assembly station. We hop out of our driver's seat, climb onto the small assembly station, stand between the trailer and the truck, press shift E to unhitch the trailer then get into our driver's seat of our truck and drive our truck away. We hop out of our truck, we come to the diesel power plant, make sure that we have a power. We come to our small assembly station, press E to open that up and in the production panel in the field station, we click the lamp loader. And as soon as we do that, we can see that the small assembly station starts the production of our lamp loader. When the production is done, we can see that the model changed to the finished model. And as soon as that is happened, we can hop into our truck, drive our truck backwards onto the small assembly station until our hook and the trailer overlap. Come to the space in between, press shift E and select hitch trailer. With the lamp loader behind our truck, we can now drive off. We can use the base trailer to transport a raw material. So that is salvage, sulfur components and iron, aluminium, copper and rare metals. So for instance, if we want salvage, we can press E to open our salvage mine. And if we go to the bottom left and we select our junk wagon, that will open up the inventory of the junk wagon. And then with the stockpile of the salvage mine open, we can shift click and that will start assembling 300 salvage into our junk wagon. Even though we already have salvage in our junk wagon, we still have a bit of room left. So if we come to the component mine over here until we see in the bottom left, press E to use component mine. We press E to open the component mine and in the bottom left, we select our junk wagon. We can come to the stockpile of the component mine and shift click and that will start assembling 300 components into our junk wagon. The tumble box is for a large item. So if we come to the material transfer station over here, and a press shift E to open the interaction menu. We select the material transfer station. In the bottom left, we select our junk box inventory. And if we now shift click on the C mines in the stockpile of the material transfer station, we can see that we are assembling C mines into our tumble box. In the bottom left, in the tumble box inventory, we can see that at best it can hold 20 C mines. If we try to put another large item in it, like the rare alloys in the other materials transfer station, we can see that if we select the tumble box and we shift click, it says can only store one item type. In almost the same way that we retrieve items, we can also deliver them. So if we come to the materials transfer station over here, press E to use it and we select our tumble box. We can right click on the C mines that are in our tumble box and select the submit all to stockpile option. And that will put all C mines back into the material transfer station. When we did that, we can see that the tumble box goes back to 32 items. And that is because C mines are particularly large. If we come, for instance, to the other materials transfer station and we press E to open that up and we grab the rare alloys, for instance, we open our tumble box and shift click to 
assemble the rare alloys into our tumble books, we can see that we can carry 32 of those in our tumble books. With the lamp loader behind our truck, we can drive towards a liquid transfer station and press Shift E and in the inter interaction drop down menu, select the liquid transfer station. We can see that in the liquid transfer station is petrol. And if we open up our lamp loader in the bottom left, we can see that at maximum we can have a 25 cherry cans of a liquid. So if we shift a left click on the petrol in the liquid transfer station, it will assemble three cherry cans at a time into our lamp loader. Just as with a fuel truck and a liquid container, we can directly refuel from the lamp loader. So if we open up our truck and we change our fuel type from diesel to petrol, we can click the refuel button and we can see that we are refueling from the lamp loader that we are carrying ourselves. Delivering liquids works in the same way. So if we come to the liquid transfer station over here, press shift E to get the interaction drop down, select the liquid transfer station and go to our lamp loader. We can right click on the petrol here and say submit all to stockpile and that will pull our lamp loader empty and into the stockpile of the liquid transfer station. To make the heavy duty truck, we come to a small assembly station with the field station upgrade. So if we press E to open its menu, in the field station menu, we can see that the last option is the Knut Cliff Rest for the Wardens, which is the heavy duty truck. The price is 40 processed construction materials. In the stockpile of the small assembly station, we can see we have more than 40 processed construction materials in it. So we can simply left click on the icon of the heavy duty truck and and that will start the production of the heavy duty truck. When the production of the heavy duty truck is done, we can come to the driver's seat, press Q to hop in and drive off. In the top left, we can see that as with any other newly built vehicle, the heavy duty truck has a tiny bit of fuel. So it would be best to refuel our heavy duty truck. So we press Q to hop out of our heavy duty truck. We come to the small assembly station over here and grab the can of diesel. Make sure that it is in our third slot, press 3 to equip it and aim it at our heavy duty truck. Hold down the left mouse button and we can see that the fuel tank at maximum holds 150 liters. If we press E to open its menu, we can see in the top left the inventory of the heavy duty truck, which contains 15 slots. So that is the same as the normal truck. We can also see in the inventory panel that it has an orange icon, which means that we can store this into our personal stockpile. In the top right, we can see the indicator for which gear we are in. We are currently in the low gear, but we can change it to the high gear by pressing F. In my case, this keybind could be different for you. To check the keybind, we press Escape to go to the main menu, go to Options, Keyboard. And in the Actions list, we look for Change Gear, and we can see that for me, that is F. If you want to change that, you can click on this button behind the Change Gear, and then the game prompts you to press the key you want to use to change gear. In my case, I still want the F key, so I press F, and we can see that the Change Gear is set to F. We can then back out of the menus. So to drive off from complete standstill, you're better off in a low gear, so we press F to go into low gear, and and we drive off. If we try the same thing in high gear, we can press F, wait till we are in high gear. And now if we start driving, we can see that it takes a long time to speed up. The low gear is excellent for towing heavy loads, things like field guns and to drive off road. And as said before, to start driving. The high gear is excellent when you're on roads and it allows you to achieve a pretty high speeds with the heavy duty truck. All field guns can be towed as well. The difference with field guns is that some field guns are very heavy and others are, are relatively light. So the Coronitas over here is a very heavy field gun. So if we hitch that to our normal truck over here by pressing Shift E and saying hitch trailer and we hop into our truck, we can see that the recommended towing capacity is exceeded. And we can see why it says that. Because if we try to 
drive with the coronitas at the back of our truck we can see that it is a very slow even if we go onto the road we can see that towing the coronitas is going to take forever now if we unhatch the coronitas press uh, come to the uh, back of the truck press shift e and select unhitch trailer we hop into our truck and we grab the field machine gun Hop out, come to the back, press Shift E and select Hitch Trailer. With the field machine gun hitched, we can see that we have a reasonable speed while pulling the field machine gun. Now, overcoming the speed limitation of the Coronitas is relatively easy. We just need a more powerful engine. So for that, we can use the heavy duty truck. We drive our heavy duty truck close to the Coronitas. Hop out of the driver's seat, come to the back and press a shift E, select hitch trailer. And if we now come to the driver's seat and hop in and drive off, we can see that we have a very good speed with the Cornetas in tow. We now press F to switch to our high gear. We can see that we can even make a pretty decent speed on high gear on the roads as well. So if we want to use our Coronitas, we unhitch the trailer. We drive our truck away a tiny bit. Hop out of the driver's seat, come to our Coronitas. And if we press Q to hop onto the field gun, we can see in the bottom left that it says, at least for me, press thumb mouse button 2 to deploy. For you, it's probably F. And if we do that, we can see that it deploys the Coronitas. And only when it is deployed are you able to fire the gun. Since field guns can also be towed, you might be tempted to get one at a garage and tow it to the front. This is possible even if you are alone. So if we build a Belfour, for instance, very quickly, we put down the blueprint hammer in the armaments. And with the field gun done, we come to the driver's seat, we press a Q to hop in, and if we try to push it, it tells us that it's too heavy for one person. This is not an issue, because we can press a Q to hop out of the uh, gun, press E to open its inventory, and in the actions panel, select package. With the push gun uh, packaged, we come outside, and luckily there is a crane here, but otherwise you have to make your own crane. Hop into the operator seat, aim at the inside of the garage, left click to hoist up the field gun, aim outside and place it in a way that we can attach it very easily to our heavy truck over here. We press Q to come out of our crane, come up to our field gun over here, press E to unpackage it. When it is unpackaged, we come to our heavy truck, hop into the driver's seat and back up our heavy truck so that our hook and the field gun uh, almost overlap. We hop out, come to the space between both of them, press Shift E, select hitch trailer, and now hop into the driver's seat and drive off with the field gun. To get the half track that is able to tow both for the colonials and for the wardens, you need to first build the base chassis of the half track. For that, you come to the garage, you press E to open it. And if we come to the production panel in the warden case, we can click the Niska MK1 gun motor carriage, and that will place the blueprint on the floor of the garage. We walk up to it with 60 refined materials in our backpack, and we start hammering in the basic materials. And if you're a colonel and you want to build the towing half track, you first need to build the chassis of the HHA Javelin, which will cost you 55 armaments. Now that we are at a small assembly station with a, a battery line upgrade, if we go to the production panel and hover over the Niska MK3 SCAR twin, we can see that in order to upgrade it, we need five processed construction materials and five assembly materials type 4. If we look in the stockpile of our small assembly station, we can see that we have these required materials. So we can simply uh, left click and that will start the production of our Niska SCAR twin. The Colonial towing half track is the HHP Hoplite and it is made in the small assembly station with the battery line upgrade. It will cost three processed construction materials and three assembly materials type four. Now that the production of the SCAR twin is finished, we can come to the driver's side, press a Q to hop in. And as we can see in the top right, it is locked to us. And that is because we started the upgrade on the small assembly station. 